Hi, Amy with Fashion Tappings here, and I have a shopping haul for you. Now, this is a little bit of everything. There's some secondhand and mostly brand new retail. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that I got is Dress Up Boutique. And uh, this has been sitting in the bag for like a week now, waiting for me to do the video. So everything is like extremely wrinkled. I should have taken it out to hang it up, but if I would have done that, I probably would have forgotten and then um, uh, it would never got on video. So I got a couple of really beautiful sweaters. I'm so excited about these sweaters. They are, um, Love Rich is the brand. Love Rich is the brand. And it's just a V-neck sweater, but it has, see that ribbed line? right down the whole center. It's kind of neat. It's kind of like a raw edge on the center. But this comes down to my calves. It's not a cardigan. It's closed. But look at look how much material is there. So this, I mean, this, I love it with my white jeans. Um, but it's super, super long and it covers everything. I can wear it with leggings. I could wear it by itself if I wanted to as a dress. Um, and uh, I'll get a lot of use out of this. And I love just the nice, comfy, neutral color that, of this, this khaki or tan. And yet another tan one is coming up. Um, this one's a little bit different. The brand is Final Touch. Oh, well, it's not gonna focus. Well, this is also, like I said, this is from the Dress It Up. Oh, the first sweater was $42.99. And the next sweater is $38.99, and they had a sale. Um, it was buy one, get one 50% off. So I'm sure the more, the more expensive one was full price, and then this one was 50% off. But uh, it is, let me see. I still set up from trying it on, sorry. Okay, so the top is a beautiful little knit pattern, see-through knit patterns. I, I do have to wear a cami underneath of it. But there's the front and the bottom is actually longer at the sides, shorter in the middle, but it has a nice little detail at the bottom. And it is three quarter length sleeves with the same detail at the bottom of the sleeves. So it's just a nice pretty girly sweater. I love the color and um, I just like the details of the knitting is on the front and the back. Or of course, the whole sweater is knitted, but you know what I mean. It has the holes in the front and in the back, so it looks really cute. And like I said, the edges are a little, the sides are a little bit longer than the front. And the last thing I got at Dress Up Boutique, this one was tw uh, $32.99. It's called the Final Touch Dress. It is I, I got it. I do have to wear a black blazer or something with it uh, because. Um, it's fall and I really don't want to show my arms anymore and it's sleeveless. But uh, I got it because of the color and this fabric. You know I always talk about bouncy fabric. It's extremely soft. I mean like extremely soft. But it has that bounce to it. I just love this fabric. Let me see if, what the mix is on this fabric. Oh I didn't even notice that. Why do I always do that to myself? It's dry clean only. I would never thought this was dry clean only. 95% rayon, 5% spandex. I should be able to wash that. And uh, so it is an olive green ombre tie-dye technique. It has that same seam right down the front center, which I, I don't know why I like that. And it's just, it just gets loose and frilly at the bottom. That olive green gets darker and darker. The sides, once again, ha uh, the sides are longer than the front. So, but, it's, you know, the, the olive color is just gorgeous. And it'll look really nice with black leggings and a little black short cropped blazer. That's what I'm planning on wearing with it. Okay, so that's all I got on this trip to Dress Up Boutique. Um, then I went to TJ Maxx and I got... It's, it, it's supposed to be an athletic workout sweatshirt, but it is so pretty. If it's, it's going to be a dress for me, I'm just. It is another one. Of, I'm a sucker for fabrics. It's another one of those incre incredibly soft fabrics. It's called RBX, which is an athletic apparel, I guess, company. 
uh, Live Life Active. But it's cotton, polyester, and spandex. The original price of this was, they tore it off. I only paid $19.99 for it. So, it is a cowl neck, the cowl neck sweatshirt. And then, so you can actually see the fuzzies when you're wearing it, the cowl neck sweatshirt. And then the bottom has that wide band. It's so hard to show clothes this way. The bottom has that wide band that, that, that fits snugly around the widest part of your hips pretty much. And, um, and then with the black leggings, it looks really nice. And like I said, it's extremely comfy. So if one of those days that you want to kind of dress up, but you need to be comfy, this is it. I, I mean, oh my God, it's so soft. And like I said, it was $19.99 at TJ Maxx. And then the rest of it's underwear. <laughs> I'm not showing you my underwear. Okay. Next thing I got was, um, and I already wore it, I took a picture, and I talked about this in my blog. I got this at Dick's Sporting Goods. They had 50% off their clearance price. Now usually when they have sales and their clearance stuff, it's like 50% uh, off original price. And then I asked her, I'm like, are you sure this is right? Is this 50% off clearance price? She said, yeah, lowest price marked. And that's an extra 50% off. And this is my favorite. I love this. Look at that army, all the different color blue army Under Armour hoodie. And it's not, it's a, a shiny material for their athletic wear. It's not a sweatshirt. It's that, and it, but it's nice and warm. It's really, really warm. And it's navy blue on the inside. Um, and it's a double extra large men's. And the reason I did that, granted, I do have to roll up the sleeves, but it actually looks kind of cute rolled up. But I wanted the length so that when I have leggings, this is super long. I bend over, I sit on the ground, anything, and this jacket's hiding it all. So I got it. It was originally, I already wore it. Um, I think it was originally 65 on sale for 40. And then I got the clearance price, um, and somehow or another ended up coming up to like 16 something. So $16 for an Under Armour hood, hoodie jacket. This isn't like just a, a sweatshirt, this is a hoodie jacket. And the inside is the fuzzies. So I was happy to have that. No, it, it came out, out to, I can't remember the, the original price and sale price, but I know on my receipt it came out to like 16, 34, something like that. Okay, and then on their clearance stuff, you know, I end up paying, this is $18.97, so I paid 10 bucks. I got this little Nike tank to wear with my bright blue Nike, or my bright blue Fabletics uh, workout pants that I just got. And then I got another tank for $8, and you know, and this North Face, just lime green and white. These are nothing. Nothing real exciting. This one was kind of cool um, because it was also $9. It's just, a, it's just a tank, but what's cool is it's for electronics. It has a pocket in the, see that zipper? It has a pocket in the back, so your cell phone actually fits in the back of your shirt. And it's on the back, so it weighs the shirt down and keeps it down in place. Um, so it's just a basic tank, but it's uh, one that deals with athletics. Then at Target, right next door, I got um, this little tank top for only $3.88 on their clearance rack. And I just thought the cut of it was cute. So the rays are back. And then see how it, is, it, it cuts right to the neckline. So all of your shoulders are showing. And uh, this is a tie-dye, high-low, little tank for the gym for $3.88. Yeah, I had to get that one. And then I told you about Target having those jeggings that were so awesome. And so I have to show you those. I do have one pair in the wash right now. I told you I was gonna wear them all day and um, they did not bag at the knees. They did not bag in the butt. The only place they got wider, which I'm surprised, is around the waist. So I did have to make sure that I kept tightening the belt. The waistband on them did stretch out throughout the day. <laughs> but I sit in a car all day, so, um, you know, the fact that the butt and the, the knees didn't get baggy, um, I was happy. And then I washed them up, um, but I don't dry anything, and so they're hanging up downstairs and they look like a cardboard mess because they're stiff because they didn't have any fabric softener. And I'm always nervous to iron um, 
anything that's like leggings because I'm afraid that the heat will break up the, the stretchy binding of the spandex. Um, so I need to spray them down with wrinkle releaser and then hang them, hang them a little bit longer. Um, so I'm not going to show you those because they're hanging up downstairs. But they're the same as the rest of these. They're just a different dye. I will show you a picture of my son and I and I'm wearing them in that picture. But, okay, these are their Denizen from Levi's, but this is one of the leggings. And this is shape, uh, shaping, essential stretch shaping, jeans that love your shape. Okay, well, so normally I've never bought jeans at Target before. And, uh, and I once I never bought jeggings before either because I always thought they were ugly. And these are cute. They are, these are like bright, bright blue, like, like bright, bright blue. Um, but I, I loved them. And I just, you know, will cuff up the, cuff up the leg. I like the dark wash. Now the ones I have downstairs, um, are, uh, more of a denim wash. And like I said, I'll show you the picture. Uh, they are more worn and they have more of a denim feel to them. But I do like the leggings, or excuse me, jeggings that are at Target. I was happy with all of them. And like I said, I wore mine all day and I didn't have any issues with any sagging or bagging of the fabric. Um, these are not, these are also from Target while I was there. Uh, I was kind of excited about the jeggings that I tried on some of their other jeans because I just never really gave Target jeans a chance. The low rise relaxed hip and thigh boyfriend jeans. And these were, oh, the jeggings, speaking of, Trying to find a price tag on. I think the jeggings were $27.99. And because I think these boyfriend jeans are more. Uh, the boy boyfriend jeans are $29.99. Um, but what I liked about these is they are the distressed. They already have them distressed. And they're the I cuff them on the bottom. They're just the low rise. And the pockets are just the plain uh plain pockets. They do have some um distressing on the pockets but no distressing on the back so they are just I think they look huge when I hold them up but they're the boyfriend jeans and I bought them really baggy and I'm wearing them down low on my hips so I can wear my um, combat boots and a flannel shirt on comfy days which is probably um, gonna be later today so got those and like I said their jeans were they ran from $27.99 to $29.99 and I was really impressed with the quality of Target's jeans. And like I said, I've never even considered Target for jeans. I've never even looked at jeans at Target, so I'm really happy about that. Usually, um, I will go to Old Navy. That's my first choice, and I know some people are thinking Old Navy are cheap jeans, but Old Navy for me lasts forever. So I love Old Navy jeans. But now, I like Target jeans too. Okay, so the next, oh, while well, I was at Target, since I, um, were, was going to be wearing the boyfriend jeans, I needed little white Converse. And so I got these at Target and they were $19.99. But I needed some because if you watched my house moving tour, you will notice that I wore my white, my other white tennis shoes. I wore them um, in the mud and the dirt there and I ruined them. So, and I don't wanna take the time to wash them because while we're in this rental, while the house is being built, <laughs> the washer and dryer is not the best of quality. Ours is in storage, so I don't want to wash any shoes, so I just threw them away. And um, as you can see, this is the only room that I have any light at all to videotape because the be my bedroom has a small window and we have an armoire in front of it, so it's extremely dark. So if you wonder, no, I don't play video games. <laughs> I kicked my, my, my oldest son out of his room so I could video use his room to videotape because like I said, it's the only room that has any light and the contractors are out of the property right now and so I can't videotape out there either, so. Okay, and the next thing I um, got was, and I have worn this and I'll show you a picture. I wore it to the museum for one of my son's school events. Um, but sundresses were on clearance at Altered State, so I went up there and I, I didn't find much, but I did find two. And um, I got both of them for uh, $19.99 which I was really happy about. Uh, this has a netted backing, and so it is um, razor backed, and the front just has the two buttons, and it's just a t-shirt sundress. It, nice and flowy. The back is a little longer than the front. I washed it, that's why it's a little bit wrinkled, 
and um, I don't dry anything. So I hang everything on doorways. All the rooms have like all of my clothes hanging from the doorways while they're drying. <laughs> so, but I did like how it has that. And you know, I have gotten tons of stuff in this color from Altered State. I had to quit falling to that one color that I, you know, I'm really drawn to this color for some reason. I now have two sweaters in this color and two sundresses, now three, three sundresses in this color. So some people probably think I'm wearing the same thing all the time, but they're all, <laughs> they're all slightly different. They're just the same damn color. Okay, and the next thing I got from Ultra State, um, this was also originally $79.95, and after all the markdowns, um, it was down to $19.88. Okay, this is, an, and this, I might be able to wear this fall um, and use it as a layering piece, wear a shirt underneath it or something, but um, it's just a striped sundress. But here's what's neat about it. I can move this stuff off my leg. Here's what's neat about it. See, it's long. It is sleeveless, but this is what's cool. This is the back. And this is the back. They have a faux flap of material that hangs down. It almost looks like you're wearing a cape. So it's like just a tank dress, but the back has an extra layer of material that lays flat. It's like wearing a cape, so it really hides any flaws you have on the backside. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'd love to wear this with a pair of boots and um, some type of shirt underneath it, which I haven't figured out. I've been, I'm on the search. I have not found a good quality white long sleeve tulip bottom t-shirt. I like the ones that are longer in the center front, center back, and shorter on the sides, and I found it one in black at Old Navy, and it was a return, and they didn't carry it uh, any, any place else in Old Navy, and I can't get any other colors, and Old Navy doesn't have it online. And the ones that they do have online, I tried on at the store, and they're all, every one of them was sewn funny in the armpit, so it looked really weird. So I'm on the hunt for a nice, this kind of fabric flouncy, white, good quality, long sleeve t-shirt that's long in the front, long in the back, and shorter on the side. So if you know where one is, <laughs> email me down below so I can go buy it. Um, but there's that dress. Okay. And then um, I was telling you how I'm getting trained at Cherokee Rose to be like a substitute employee um, when Alex is sick or she's never sick, but when she has an appointment or um, needs to go somewhere, needs to close up shop, I come in and I will run the shop for her while she's gone. And so while I was being trained, <laughs> I was shopping. So instead of like having pretend orders to, to ring up, <laughs> I just bought stuff because there was stuff I wanted. Uh, so this is a microfiber jacket. So it looks suede, but it's not. It's got black spandex underneath the arm, so it's a lot of movement. The brand, Kate and Mallory, which if you watch like the Home Shopping Networks, you probably recognize this brand. But it has the um, waterfall neckline and it is just a faux suede jacket. Isn't that cute? Now this, and it's so comfortable, this I picture wearing with um, my little black t-shirt and then a, a little black pencil skirt underneath and the black boots. I think that'll look really sharp. It was, it was priced at $14.99, but I know when I got to the end, by the time I used my coupons, my credits, and everything else, I paid like $1.93 for two items because I had so many credits built up. Uh, the next thing I, I got while I was working, <laughs> and it matches my hair, is this cute little Calvin Klein uh, chiffon top. It also has that, that uh, I don't know what you call this, a waterfall neckline, water, that, that ruffle. And it has two pockets on the chest, and it's lined, which is nice. So I don't have to I don't have to wear a cami underneath if I don't want to. But it's just a beautiful color. It's easier to show from the side, I guess. It's a beautiful color, and the back is just got some cinching or some ruching right there. So super cute. And this I paid. $12.99, but like I said, I had so many built up credits there. And I'm selling um, my boots, uh, I have not all of them. I'm selling like some of my really high boots that I can't wear anymore, my knees just can't handle it. I'm selling my boots there, my Jessica Simpson um, cork wedges there, my 
nine west cord cork wedges there so i'm trying to sell some stuff there and then i have oops then i'll even have more of a credit okay well that's everything i wanted to show at least for today's haul so i got the two sundresses from altered state i got the hot pink shirt from cherokee rose the faux or the microfiber jacket from cherokee rose lots lots of workout tanks my cute little white tennis shoes. Oh, I got some Nike workout shoes. I'm not going to show those. I forgot about those. And then my Under Armour big long sweatshirt jacket hoodie. My RBX. I think that was the brand. RBX. Yeah, RBX. Uh, turtleneck. Turtleneck cowl neck uh, sweatshirt tunic. I don't know how to describe some of these things. Uh, the olive green ombre sleeveless tunic dress. The uh, love rich long sweater dress, which I'll be wearing as a sweater top and as a sweater dress both. Then we also have the other sweater dress or tunic. And then uh, I got three pairs of jeans from Target. So I think that's about it. I'm sure I'll probably get done filming and I'll look around and I'll be like, crap, I forgot something. I already know one whole outfit that I, that I forgot. I got a new um, uh, denim jacket, a tunic watercolor dress, and a pair of br uh, blue suede boots. <laughs> Then I'll show those to you on my next video. So, okay, well, this is Amy with Fashion Toppings. Until next time, you have a great day.